What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Chud's Barbecue. My name is Bradley Robinson and today I'm gonna show you how I made this beautiful, delicious, scratch made, amazing Chud McMuffin. That's right folks, we're making our own English muffins, our own breakfast sausage and a beautiful egg for what might be the ultimate breakfast sandwich. Coming up! This is some pork! Some pork belly, because we're gonna start things off by making some breakfast sausage. And pork belly is a great choice for that, especially this stuff, because it's particularly meaty and it's got a whole bunch of fat content to it, which is exactly what we want for making some breakfast sausages. Oh yeah, beautiful. And conveniently enough, these are already cubed up. So all we need to do now is pop these in the freezer for a little bit while we get our spice mixture together. Spices for our breakfast sausage include some kosher salt, some 16 mesh black pepper, on sale now at shopchuds.com, some freshly chopped sage, dry parsley, some dry thyme, coriander, a little bit of fennel, some red pepper flakes, as well as some MSG. And that's it. <sighs> Going through the small millimeter die today. Now that our pork belly is sufficiently chilled, through the grinder we go. I'm much more used to my bigger grinder. Some of these chunks are definitely a little too big. Beautiful. And in we go with our spices. This is about a three pound batch. So I'm just gonna mix this by hand today. Make sure all these spices are evenly incorporated throughout. And if you can't find pork belly, pork butt would be another great alternative. That's what I usually use. But you know, bacon is made of pork belly. We're making breakfast sausage. So I figured I'd combine the best of both worlds and try and get this nice hybrid of bacon slash breakfast sausage. But we're just gonna mix this up, knead this a little bit until it's feeling nice and tacky. And it's also at this stage, you could go through and do a little test patty, make sure all your flavors are where you want them to be. Although, all those flavors will continue to develop and that salt will penetrate the meat a little bit so it might taste a little different the next day. But, just gonna mix this up, starting to look real nice. If you're doing a big batch, you could easily pop this into the sausage mixer or even a batch this size, you could use a stand mixer which would work really well, but I don't wanna get it dirty because the next thing we're gonna do is make some English muffins. But first, this video is brought to you by Commenteer Coffee. Commenteer has quickly become my absolute favorite way to make a cup of coffee. It's by far the easiest, most convenient, and fastest way to get a piping hot cup of joe first thing in the morning. Basically what they do is they take these little capsules here that are filled with freshly brewed coffee that they then flash freeze at super cold temperatures when the coffee is at its best to really lock in all the aromas and flavor compounds of a freshly brewed cup of coffee. They're then shipped frozen to your door and all you need to do is take this box, pop it in your freezer, and you've got eight cups of coffee at the go for whenever you need a cup. And to make it, couldn't be easier. Grab yourself a cup. Open up the little capsule, and in we go with a little coffee nugget. Top that with some pipe and hot water, and in just a matter of seconds, you've got a beautiful cup of coffee that tastes just as good as any other method of brewing. It's that simple. Mm. Honestly, I don't know how they do it, but I'm glad they do. But if you're like me, I live in Texas, and I'm much more likely to reach for an iced coffee in the morning, which is even easier than that. Get yourself some ice. Then you can pull your capsule out of the freezer a few minutes early or pop it in the fridge for a little bit. And on we go with that. Top that with some water. And you've got the quickest iced coffee of all time. I'm telling you, if you live a busy lifestyle, this is an amazing life hack to help speed up your morning routine. Because it's not only super fast and convenient, but it's also genuinely delicious. And typically to get a cup of coffee like this, I'd have to go to a coffee shop. And by having these in my freezer, it saves me so much time and money. Highly recommend it. You know, in my freezer, I've got some light roasts and some dark roasts. So if I have guests over, I can make them whatever they want with very little fuss. So if you've been wanting to try Cometeer coffee, now is the time to do it because for a very limited time, you can use my code to get 25% off your first two orders at Cometeer.com. Again, link in the description, that's Cometeer.com. Using my code, you can get 25% off your first two orders. Highly recommend it. Thank you, Cometeer. Let's make some English muffins. Starting with some milk, some sugar, and some yeast. Get that all mixed up and let that sit for a little bit to make sure our yeast is alive. Looking good. Next up, we're gonna go in with some salt, one beaten egg, as well as some melted butter and some bread flour. Just gonna gradually add this all in and let this knead for a few minutes until we have a nice, beautiful, supple dough. Once we've got a nice smooth ball here into a greased bowl, this goes to double in size. I'll see y'all in like an hour. One hour later, our dough has doubled in size and out it comes. Oh, looking nice and lovely. Gonna knock some air out of this, give it a couple of strength folds. 
and looking beautiful. Gonna divide this up. Once divided up into 85 gram balls, we're gonna take a ball here and just like a tortilla, we're gonna kind of fold it and tuck it till we have a nice smooth top. Sticky dough, probably because it's raining. And then on the table, give it the old roly poly to make sure everything is tucked underneath and this thing is nice and round and looking beautiful. And then onto a cornmeal line sheet, they go to rest for another little bit. After letting these sit for just a few minutes, I'm gonna hit the tops with some cornmeal because I like it. And we're gonna go through and press these out into discs, however big you want your English muffins to be. Looking good to me. We're gonna let these rise for the next little bit while we get our fire started. While that charcoal heats up, let's go ahead and make a super quick breakfast sandwich sauce. Starting with one egg, followed by a nice healthy shot of some Dijon mustard, two small garlic cloves, the juice of one lemon. No seeds, please, chef. A healthy pinch of salt, some black pepper, small pinch of sugar, and we mix. Oh God, oh God, where's the top? And then we're gonna slowly stream in some avocado oil. Any oil will work. Beautiful, nice and thick. Oh, love it. And for our final ingredient, we're going in with some sriracha. Basically a very lemony, more mustard heavy, slightly sweet sriracha mayonnaise. Beautiful. We're firing up the old smash table here today. Folks, if you haven't seen this, I built this a few months back. I did a whole build video about it if you wanna check that out. But if you're unfamiliar, it's essentially a wood powered or charcoal powered griddle that's got griddle, grill, griddle. And of course, they both have tortilla presses on them. So, should be perfect for what we're gonna do today. Starting by toasting off our English muffins. Simply enough, onto this dry, toasty hot carbon steel griddle, we go down with some muffins. And this would obviously work in any other pan. Cast iron would be great. And the reason I'm using the old fish spat here is so I can slide it underneath and check the doneness of the bottom. Looking good, getting nice and puffy. Should only take a few minutes per side. Oh, beautiful. Look at that, some beautiful puffy Inga muffins. And now we repeat. Ooh. Do you think I'm the first person on YouTube to cook English muffins on a handmade griddle? Maybe, let me know. Little cornmeal coated clouds. Up next, taking a nice little meatball of our beautiful homemade breakfast, snossage, and on the old chud press it goes. Love it! Because what doesn't sound good about a breakfast smash burger on a homemade English muffin? <laughs> Am I right? Beautiful. Next up, let's do our egg. Ring mold down. A little sprayable fat, preferably duck fat. Beautiful. Now, I'm not a big fan of a runny yolk in my sandwiches, so we're gonna go ahead and mix that up just a little bit. And to make sure it cooks evenly, we're gonna go on with a little bowl here with some water. Let that steam away. Should not take long. Where are my little tweezers? Oh, look at that. Oh, that is a sight of beauty, folks. Would you just look at it? Come on. Perfect. So fluffy, so big. Love it. Let's see how they came out. With a fork, obviously. It's all about those nooks and crannies, folks. And I can tell you from personal experience, if your girlfriend comes home from work and the house smells of fresh English muffins, she'll be very happy. Oh, would you just look at it? Beautiful. Ah, what a sight to behold. Let's grill them off. Might as well get a little charcoal flavor going while we've got it, am I right? Ooh, beautiful. Some of our homemade sriracha mayo. Should we do both sides? Yeah, why not? We'll go light on the top. Our beautiful homemade sausages. Boop, what a fit. Some American cheese. Much like a burger, folks, there's a time and place. And this is one of them. Give that a little help in the melting department. Our beautiful little eggs. And these have yet to be seasoned, so we're gonna hit those with a little S&P real quick. Don't need too much. <clears throat> And we top. And there we have it, folks, the Chud McMuffin. Oh, come on, what doesn't look good about that? Chud McMuffin Mountain. All right, let's dive in. I gotta say, folks, this is pretty exciting. I've been wanting to make this video for a very long time. I mean, what doesn't look beautiful about that? Everything's the same size, too. It's like I tried. Beautiful sight. I wish you could feel this English muffin. It is so squishy, so soft, very tasty. All right, let's go for it. Mm-hmm. Mm. What more in life do you need than that, folks? Beautiful cross-section there. Mm. 
Huh? Mm, that is phenomenal. Picture perfect little McMuffin sandwich. So good. Oh, the fresh muffin. You really can't beat that. Mm, mm, man, I'm really glad I double sided with that sriracha mayo. Honestly, I think it could use a little bit more, but more breakfast sandwiches need a good sauce, you know? Burger sauce works great, but I don't know, something about ketchup and breakfast sausage just doesn't really work for me. That egg is cooked perfectly, tell you what. And also, I really like the ratios here. Definitely a meat heavy sandwich. That's why it's the Chud McMuffin. Again, it's like a breakfast smash burger with an egg on top on a freshly baked English muffin. I mean, <laughs> come on. So good. Mm -hmm. Definitely a very flavorful breakfast sausage too. This is a different recipe than some of the other ones I've done on the channel. Mostly because I added MSG this time around and uh, I think that's the real trick. This is a lot closer to Jimmy Dean than anything I've made before. Very flavorful. Oh, it's good, it's good. Mm -hmm. oh. You know, just like a lot of my recipes, very simple, but care put into every step. It's all you can really do in the kitchen, folks. Highly recommend it. Oh. <clears throat> As if you need another cross section, but whew, beautiful. Wish I could wake up to that every day. <clears throat> I think we all know who this is for, except she's out on a walk right now, so we have to wait. And wait, I shall. Oh, official taste tester. <laughs> mm. All right, y'all, and that is it. That is how to make some absolutely fantastic Chud McMuffins. I highly recommend giving this one a try. If you've never made your own English muffins before, it's super easy and very tasty, and only takes a little over an hour to make. Not to mention, if you're new to sausage making, homemade breakfast sausage is the place to start because you don't have to case it up. But that being said, if you enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting that subscribe button. Let YouTube know by dropping a like on this video. Feel free to drop a comment down below letting me know what you want to see me cook next. If you give this recipe a try for yourself, be sure to tag me on Instagram at Chud's Barbecue. I love to see what y'all are cooking. Big shout out to all the Patreon members, thank you for supporting Team Chud and allowing me to keep making all these videos. And until the next time I see you, please go cook something outside. Peace!